Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Will be silent or suffer the consequences? That is the message that has just been put forward by a state senator, a Democrat who has just introduced a brand new piece of legislation that not only forces communication platforms to register, but also assures that if you speak against Democrats, as in any of the topics they don't like, conspiracy theory, fake news, disinformation, or election integrity, or fill in the blank, then there is going to be an unimaginable penalty that will ensue. But before I get into the report, just a quick break. So are you making full use of your savings? Think about the time that you've yearned for better returns. After real inflation, charges, and taxes, are you even making a profit? With food, clothing, and rent all more than doubling over the past 10 years, it's truly time that you did something different. Gambling on Robinhood or stocks might just lose you the lot. Is it truly worth the risk? Like thousands of other people, you want retirement to be stress-free. That's why a Precious Metals IRA with Noble Gold Investments at noblegoldinvestments.com just might be your answer. And this month, Noble Gold Investments is gifting something very genuine. Uh, and I have it right here. It's this rare Carson City minted Morgan silver dollar. And I'll kind of ho hold it in the camera there so you can see both sides of it. But this thing is very genuine and unique. And it comes with any qualifying IRA or 401k. In fact, these coins were around when an ounce of silver was worth a dollar. To give you an example, an 1890. 93 coin in mint condition today is now worth $3,250. That is a literal increase of over 325,000%. I mean, that's massive. That's a return of over 2,500% a year. That's pretty huge. And that's just goes to show the power of long-term investment in precious metals. So get in touch with the experts over at noblegoldinvestments.com today. Do not hesitate because you never know what the economy holds. Now you can either go to their website at noblegoldinvestments.com or give them a call at 1-877-646-5347. The number's also on the screen. Uh, but let them know that you heard it on LinkedIn. Lisa Haven. Anyhow, thanks again. Back with the show. So what exactly am I talking about? We'll take a look at this article here on pjmedia.com and it's headline, Colorado Democrat moves to ban hate speech, fake news on social media. And this was just recently published on March 2nd. Now the article states, on Friday, Colorado Senate President Pro Temper, Kerry Donovan, who is also running to unseat U.S. Representative Lauren Boebert, filed SB 21-132, a bill to regulate digital communications. The bill will create two regulatory agencies to monitor big tech companies and penalize them for allowing a person to engage in unfair or discriminatory digital communication practices, including promoting hate speech, undermining election integrity, allowing the spread of fake news and targeting for digital ads. The bill does not define, however, these hot button terms, apparently leaving their definition up to the state digital communications divisions. In other words, leaving it up to leftist Democrats who decide what they deem is appropriate or not. The big tech regulation seems ripe for abuse. It would give cover for big tech to censor conservatives in the name of fighting uh, hate and fake news. SB 21-132 would create digital communications divisions and a digital communication commission tasking these bodies with registering every digital communication platform, including social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and media sharing platforms like YouTube and Twitch and monitoring their activity to prevent 
discrimination. And it goes on to talk about some of the things. But what I want to do now is take you over first to Carrie Donovan. This is the lady that has introduced it, Senator Carrie Donovan there. She is the president pro tempore. And I hope she doesn't get elected considering everything that's going on. But here's the actual legislation. Uh, and this is what I really want to hone in on because this thing is downright terrifying. Because basically what it does in a roundabout way is it makes it so the government can regulate your speech, at least in the state of Colorado. Because you can deem anything and anything and everything that you want, you can deem as hate speech, you can deem as conspiracy theory, you can deem as whatever. We've already seen this happen with Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. Now it's going into the hands of the Colorado government there for the state of Colorado. I mean, this is above and beyond anything, but here it is. You can see a state of Colorado. It was just introduced and Donovan there, her signature. But here it is, a bill for an act concerning the regulation of digital communications and in connection thereof creating the digital uh, communications division. But it goes on to state this. The bill creates the Digital Communications Division and the Digital Communications Commission, so two departments there, within the Department of Regulatory Agencies. And of course, the Democrats are the head over that, you know, because they get to decide exactly who's involved and what happens there. But it goes on, on an annual basis and for a reasonable fee determined by the commission, the division shall register digital communication platforms, which are certain communication-oriented online business such as social media platforms or media sharpening platforms that conduct business in Colorado or own or operate services that are offered to the Colorado residents, a digital communication platform that fails to register with the division commits a class two misdemeanor. Wow punishable by a fine of up to $5,000 a day, the violation continues. Now it goes on, and this is even more disturbing, this part of it here. The division shall investigate, and the commission may hold hearings, hearings, on claims filed with the division alleging that a digital communication platform, in other words, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever one of those, one of those, big tech organizations, they're going to have a hearing with them that that because they allowed a person, they allowed you and me to speak, right? And somehow we spoke about some kind of unfair or discriminatory something or another on their platform. So in other words, as PJ Media said above, and I think this is a very powerful point here, and I'm going to point it out, that the big tech regulation that they're trying to put forward in the state of Colorado is ripe for abuse because it would give a cover for big tech to censor conservatives in the name of fighting hate speech. Because they're saying, oh, we're going to put that communication people on, on um, in a hearing to ask why they allowed Lisa Haven to speak because what she said we didn't agree with. So therefore, some penalty must ensue. You see the problem I have with this is puts government in charge of communication. But these are the kinds of things that they're talking about that they could take them to court for, right? And I'm not for big tech, let me be clear, but this will force big tech to censor us to oblivion. That's the problem I have with it. But it includes things that promote hate speech, which we know can't be interpreted as anything they want. If you're against Im illegal immigration, if you're against illegal immigration, that's now hate speech. If you're against abortion, that's now hate speech. If you don't support Black Lives Matter radical agenda, that's called hate speech. And anything that they want to deem as hate speech in the future can be deemed hate speech. You're against this Democrat policy? Well, then you're a bigot. Anything, anything, especially when you're putting a bunch of Democrats, which is what usually happens, in charge. It's been proven time and time again. Uh, also, if you undermine election integrity, let me interpret that. If you say anything on the election that they don't want you to say, they remove it. We already had C CPAC, right? President Trump went on uh, 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 on CPAC and spoke. All of his, his stuff got removed off the internet because YouTube didn't like what he had to say about the election. You can't question it. No matter what, you question it, 
how there's going to be some kind of penalties and suing, or if you disseminate uh, intentional disinformation, which translates to anything that they don't want out, or if you talk about conspiracy theories, that means a lot of the times, not all of them, but information that the government wants kept hidden and doesn't want the public to know about or question, or fake news or authorize, encourage, or carry out violations of, use of, uh, of users' privacy. That's a complete silencing. Completely. Of course, it sounds good on the surface. Nobody wants that. But the question then remains, who makes the calls? And we know who's making the calls, but it goes on. It also includes business, political, or social practices that are conducted in a manner that a person is aggravated by practices that can demonstrate are unfair or discriminatory towards that person, uh, such as things done in a scributory manner might include practices that target uh, users for the purposes of collecting their personal info. Of course, they've got some good information in there, of course, along with a lot of bad, right? And and some of this other stuff you, you can read on your own, but using facial recognition software and other tracking technology. I'm against that, right? That part, fine. But it's this little part up here that I have a massive issue with. Massive issue with. And you know what? It's not going away. If this is happening and being proposed for you to silence and shut up if you're a conservative Christian Republican, and that's where it always ends up because they're the only ones being called racist, white supremacist, bigots, and everything under the sun. This directly targets one political side based off of everything. And this is their way of completely making us not able to speak, folks. If it's happening in Colorado, it's not going to stop in Colorado. There's also this that's going on, make you aware. This is on dailycaller.com. House passes legislation that would allow the Justice Department to demand, demands the removal of social media posts, right? The House of Representatives pass legislation as part of HR1 bill, There's that dreaded bill again, but snuck inside of it, it would allow the DOJ to require social media sites to remove certain information uh, based off the fact that, you know, uh, a removed post directed, if they directly involve any kind of what they identify to be published or, or working with foreign agents on propaganda. You know, there was a time that they were calling uh, President Trump a Russian disinformation agent and Prop 2 or not or something to that level came out and they were accusing all alternative media as Russia dis- a, a Russian disinfo. But this isn't just coming from the state of Colorado. There's stuff happening all across the board. And I'm just going to skim this because I talked about this already on uh on YouTube and Restrictive Republic, I believe. Uh, but this is published earlier, but just as a quick reminder, Illinois Congress member signs into effort to remove Christian influence from America. Now, if you guys uh, don't recall, there is a group uh, that's basically an atheist group called the Secular Democrats of America. And they made an entire list of demands that were completely and utterly anti-Christian, that they're trying to force Biden, his administration, and all these things. And here's all the things they propose. Don't want to get into them again because I got into them once before. But this is the kind of stuff we're facing on a daily basis, on a state level, on a national, federal level, all of it, right? And that's just the tip of the iceberg, just the tip. Anyhow, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be silenced. I'm not going to be silent. I am not going to be silent. That's why I created Restricted Republic, right? But they're trying to shoot around everything in so many different ways. We have to start getting on the rear ends, metaphorically speaking, of our state legislators, our our um, our state representatives, our um, you know congressional leaders, the whole nine yards. Do not, I personally recommend it. I'm not going to personally do. You can do what you want, but I'm not going to give money anymore to any Republican candidate who doesn't run on a couple of things. A If you don't start sticking up for our election integrity, I'm not going to give you a cent. B, if you don't stand against cancel culture, I'm not going to give you a cent. And third, if you don't stop this ludicrous attack against our freedom of speech and the censorship of conservatives, don't even bother running for a political office. Those three things have to be 
front and center and we have to put our money where our mouths are anyhow i love all of you please subscribe to the channel uh thanks again for tuning in i'm lisa haven signing out